Hello and welcome back to Sci-Tai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this very unique and very beautiful fiber optic lamp with using a few simple components such as a WS2812 NeoPixel and an Arduino Nano. Let's get started. <laughs> And these are the items you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need, a 3D printed housing that will hold the entire circuit, some fiber optic cables that came from a broken fiber optic lamp, you're also going to need some jumper wires, an Arduino Nano, and this particular Arduino Nano is a Proto Shield Arduino Nano. Click on the annotation card in the corner to see how I made this device. And you're also going to need two WS2812 NeoPixels, a 9 volt battery clip, and of course a 9 volt battery. You're also going to need to modify these jumper wires to attach to the 9 volt battery, and some shrink tube, and you're also going to need some neodymium magnets. Now let's go ahead and assemble this project, and let's get started. First, I'm going to start with these two NeoPixels. And as you can see, I need to follow the arrows because that's the direction that the current's going to flow. Start from data pin input to data pin output to connect to data pin input and then data pin output. So the current starts there and ends over here. Next, I'm going to start to turn the leads that are on these NeoPixels. Next, I'm going to take the two NeoPixels and put them close to each other because I want to solder bridge the two 5 volts and connect the two 5 volts together. Remelt the solder and solder bridge them together. And there, it should look just like this. Next, I'm going to take these two wires and I want to connect the data pin from data pin out to data pin in and then the ground from ground to ground. There we go, data pin in to data pin out. And now ground to ground. And there we go, that side is now connected. Next, I'm going to take a jumper wire that is solder tinned and solder it to 5 volts. And the data pin in and the ground. Next, I'm going to take the 9 volt battery clip and this jumper wire and the shrink tube. I'm going to go and cut the jumper wire, remove the insulation. Solder tin it. And now solder it to the 9 volt battery clip. This one's negative. Put the shrink tube over. Melt the shrink tube. And there, it should look just like this. Next, I'm going to go and wire everything together to make a test. Take the Arduino Nano and the NeoPixels and connect everything together. Take the jumper wire that's connected to 5 volts of the NeoPixels and attach it to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino Nano. And I'll take the data pin in to connect to data pin 6 of the Arduino Nano. And then of course take the ground pin to connect to ground. Next, take the 9 volt battery clip and take the positive wire and connect it to VIN or voltage in. And now take the negative wire and connect it to ground. And there, the circuit's now complete. Let's go test it out. Plug in the 9 volt battery. And there, as you can see, the LEDs light up. Very nice. Next, I'm going to take the Neo Dimini magnets and the 3D printed cubes. And I want to take each magnet and glue it to each cube with showing the same polarity of each magnet. Take some super glue, put it on the cube. And I'll take two magnets so that way I can respect the polarity. Place it on. Move it around a little bit to make sure the glue is all over the magnet. To make sure it's centered and placed close to the edge so that way it can be able to place into place better. Spray some activator. And there, glued into place. Now, repeat the same process three more times. 
and there, she'll look just like this. The reason why the magnet's positioned like that is so that way it can be flush with the side of the housing. Make sure the magnet that is on top is aligned with the rim of the housing. Take some super glue, put some glue on the side. And now glue the magnet in place. Push it down to make sure the top magnet is flush with the rim of the housing. And there we go, that looks nice. Spray some activator so it stays in place. And there, perfect. Add more super glue to make it extra strong. Spray more activator. And there, it should look just like this. Now, repeat the same process three more times. Next, I'm gonna take some hot glue and put a little bit of hot glue on each magnet. And now take the bottom part of the housing and place it perfectly even on top. Wait for about five minutes to wait for the glue to solidify. And now you can be able to remove the lid and the magnets will follow. And there, as you can see, the magnets have glued into place except for that one. But that's okay, I can just simply re-glue it and put it back in. Take some more hot glue to make sure it stays in place better. And now the magnets can stay in place and the lid can now open and close easily. Perfect. Next, I'm going to take the NeoPixels and put them inside the housing and then put the NeoPixels through the hole of the housing. There we go. Next, what I need to do is modify the NeoPixels. What I need to do is bend the jumper cables. Bend them over in a 90 degree angle. Next, put a generous amount of hot glue onto these fiber optic cables. Place it on. And wait for it to solidify. Allowing it to solidify, I can be able to leave a little gap in between, which will allow the NeoPixels to glow through the hot glue, which will allow the LED light to disperse evenly, which will then make the fiber optic cables glow better. And there we go, nice and solidified. Next, I'm going to take the NeoPixels and then put a generous amount of hot glue on the NeoPixels. There we go. Next, what I need to do is wait for the glue to slightly solidify. Still needs to be a little bit soft so that way it can be able to stick onto the fiber optic cables. And as you can see, it's almost solidified but still soft to the touch which will allow it to stick better. And there, as you can see, these stuck together perfectly with leaving a little bit of a gap. Next, put some more hot glue over the jumper cables to insulate them and to add more hot glue so that way the entire piece sticks together properly and forms one solid piece. And there, it should look just like this. Next, I'm going to go and take these jumper cables and connect them to the Arduino Nano. Plug them back in the same way as I did for the test. And there, as you can see, it works. Next, take the NeoPixels and the fiber optic cables and put them through the hole. And as you can see, I didn't take into account that it got a little bit bigger. That's okay, I'm going to take these flash cutters and make the hole bigger in the housing to allow all that to fit. And there, perfect, I got it to fit. Unfortunately, I got this gap here, so what I'm gonna do is take some electrical tape and cover that little gap. Perfect, the tape is now covering that little hole and the fiber optic cables are now glued into place. Next, wire the NeoPixels back into the Arduino Nano the same way as I showed you in the test.
And there, the project is now complete. Let's go test it out and see how it looks in the dark. Ah, as you can see, this looks great in the dark. Hmm, that looks very relaxing and very mesmerizing. Yes, I absolutely love this. This looks really good. And there you have it. Now you know how to make your very own fiber optic lamp with using a WS2812 NeoPixels and an Arduino Nano. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTitech videos. To the next tech, goodbye.